This is Frank Goss with SGTV, borrowing from the tale of two cities. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. Sunrise. Sunset. I'm a morning person. I'm a night person. The division into light and dark is the most base of Earth's dichotomies. Our 24-hour division is parsed into day and night, light and dark, one or the other. Well, almost. Then there are the tween moments, the moments that are neither dark nor light, sunrise, sunset. For centuries, artists have found refuge in the moments between light and dark. Sullivan Goss went into its vaults and found nearly 20 paintings as a tribute to summer solstice, the longest day and the shortest night, sunrise, sunset. These dynamic twins are the subject of song, poetry, novel, and film. We wait all night, anticipating the long count of the nightly drought until dawn. Nothing breaks the silence and mystery of night like the first notes of dawn. It starts as a hint and then glory. Following, there is our playground, the day. Long, bright, clear, and joyous. By evening, we are counting down. Like all Earth's children, biding autumn, we await the arrival of winter. We are tired, we are spent, and we look for the comfort of the last meal of the day. And then, as if arriving like dessert for the multitudes, comes sunset. It is the perfect end. Sunrise, sunset. It is absolute balance. Sunrise is the dare, and brokers take bets all day to see if nightfall will compete. And it does. Perfectly. The trumpets of dawn are the same clarion instruments announcing the arrival of silence and the mystery of the moonlit hours. When Beethoven celebrated triumphant day with Ode to Joy and Chopin formed a refrain in his nocturnes, they were just preparing the stage for the greatest show on earth. Sunrise. Sunset. Sunrise Sunset will be on view through September of this year.